What's up, y'all? This is Jason here from Flame of Perishable. I bet you all think his mustache always looks perfect. Well, you're wrong. This is what it normally looks like when I wake up in the morning. So, I thought I'd give you all some uh, quick tips on how to grow a handlebar mustache and uh, groom your, uh, your beard, make it look all good and stuff. So, one of the things I like to do is I like to keep my beard a little bit tighter and not quite so scraggly. So, I have a beard trimmer, two different sizes here. I've got a seven millimeter and I've got a five millimeter. One thing I would recommend is if you're wearing a shirt that you like, take it off before you start trimming your beard because you're gonna get lots of little hairs all over your shirt and then you're gonna have to put it in the wash before you can wash it again because it's gonna get really itchy. Just without further ado, I'm going to just Take the shirt, put it safely um, right here for safekeeping, and we will get it in just a second. But for now, we really need to tame this thing. I recommend starting with the seven or the longer one. I don't know what they're called, guard, whatever. What I like to do is keep the, the chin section a little bit longer than the cheek section. I'm gonna hold my mustache up out of the way. I don't wanna accidentally trim it. And then you just start trimming it. Now you notice I'm holding it over here so I, I make sure I feel like the separation between where my mustache starts and the regular part of the beard starts. All right, we've now trimmed all of our beard with the seven millimeter. Now I'm gonna switch over to the five millimeter. Now I'm just gonna kind of tighten it up around here. Notice I leave it longer on the chin. So I got hair all over my arms. So now, we take our little brush here. Just kind of get all the loose hairs out. Looks kind of nice, kind of. About as nice as I'm gonna get. Now we're ready for the fun part. But you'll notice, look at this, look at this. There's lots of hair in the sink, okay? When you start the blow dryer, it's gonna go everywhere. So it's probably a good idea to get it cleaned up first. So I'm gonna get some toilet paper. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wipe the little hairs out of the sink. And probably, I'll probably flush them down the toilet. I haven't really decided what to do with them. Might recycle them, I, I don't know yet. But for now, I'm just gonna flush them. And that's all. Now, the fun part is, the mustache grooming section. For this, I use this circular brush here, a blow dryer, and I like to use two different kinds of waxes, the Sudden Death and the Death Grip, okay? Maybe I should put my shirt back on for this, because now I'm, now you just brush yourself off, you're good. Okay. Now that we're nice and proper and we're ready to do a proper groom, I would recommend first fixing the tag in the back of your shirt. Second, we can take our blow dryer, you plug it in, make sure the uh, thing is pushed in, otherwise it won't start. There's two settings, or high and low. I usually go for the, the high setting. Now it's important not to put oil in your beard right now because if you do that before you apply the wax, you're gonna have a problem because the wax isn't gonna to wanna to stick to your beard or your mustache hairs. That's a problem, right? Yeah. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and straighten out all this nasty, curly uh, haywire stuff. It looks like terrible. We're just gonna tame it. And what we wanna do is get it straight, okay? And then we will apply the wax and I'll explain why I do different, two different kinds of waxes. What I do is I pull it straight down first, just make it straight, pull it down. I might brush it to one side, push it all over, and then I'll brush it to the other side and push that all over. And that's just gonna help get the, the hairs that are usually not very straight, straighten them out just because they're being pushed in different directions and then heat it up. So, you'll see.
Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start curling the, the brush like this to get the, the little hairs to kind of circle underneath. One other thing I like to do is after I've done that, now it's starting to kind of look a little straight. I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna curl it up like that. We are ready to start applying the first wax now. I have two waxes here. One's called Sudden Death and one is called Death Grip. Now, Death Grip is the harder of the two waxes that I use. I like to apply this one first. This one is so hard, you need to take the blow dryer and heat it up before you can apply it. The Sudden Death is a much softer, malleable wax that you just don't, you don't even need to heat it up. You just apply it directly. But I do, I do that one after I've already applied the hard one. The reason is, the Sudden Death version, the hard wax, it doesn't get the shape of my mustache that I like. It doesn't hold the shape, but it's a great primer for what I want. And the nice thing about this stuff is it will stay in your mustache for almost a week. You won't have to do this every day. You can just do it maybe once a week, freshen it up with the softer wax maybe once every couple of days. So I will heat this up and I will scrape off a little bit and I will apply it and you'll see. Now that we've applied the hard wax, I'm going to take my fingers and just kind of spread it out a little bit. I started applying it toward the center and it's just going to kind of work its way out to the tips. Now it's important not to twist. You don't want to twist the hairs. It's going to, that's going to damage your, your mustache over time. What I normally do is I do a kind of a roll a bit of it and it just kind of gets the wax worked in to the, the hair fibers. Kind of like that. And it's still quite a bit dry toward the outside. We'll, we'll, we might apply a little bit more. You can see, looks like I lost a hair. Oh, the fallen comrade there. So let's get a little bit more uh, wax toward the tips. Just a little bit, apply it right there. And then the other side, just like that. All right, now this is kind of like putting pine tar in your, uh, your face. It's very sticky and it's, uh, it's really not the most comfortable if you get it on your skin. So try to avoid that. And then the first few times you do it, you're just gonna get it all over the place. It's gonna make a big mess, but you'll, you'll get the hang of it. Now, if you live in a humid climate that's hot like we do in Houston, you're gonna have a problem with, as soon as you walk outside, your mustache is just gonna droop because of the heat, right? It's about the same temperature as the, the hot uh, blow dryer. So that is why I use the two different style waxes. Now see this one, it's gonna, it's starting to kind of take shape, but it doesn't really wanna stay as I like it. So that's why I use the secondary wax here called Sudden Death. Now the softer one, I don't necessarily need to use the, the, the blow dryer. I could if I want, but I don't, need, I don't usually. So I just scrape a little bit. And this is gonna basically hold the shape that I want. And now that I have the wax in there, it's gonna behave according to my will. It's just 
this is what's gonna really kind of hold it in place. You can see as I add it to it, it just kind of blocks it. See that? And most of this wax I apply toward the outer section. Just scraping a little bit, you see about how much I get there? We just kind of scrape it and then we apply it doing that roll technique I showed you with your fingers. Don't twist your stash, just roll the hairs and be very gentle. You don't want to pull anything out. Don't, it took you a long time to grow this thing and you don't want to damage it. All right, we are almost done. Now, it depends how you want to style your stash. You could go for the straight out Salvador Deli kind of thing, but that's not really the way I like to do it. Not today, it just depends what day it is. But today, I think we're going to kind of go for a round look and we're gonna take the hairs and just kind of position them in an arc. The most important thing when you're doing this is to keep it as symmetrical as you can. I like, it's gonna bother you because you're gonna, in your peripheral vision, you're gonna see one part of the mustache going one way and the other part doesn't see, seem to look, go in the same way. And to your face, you feel like you're completely off symmetry. But when then people, when you ask people and they say, oh no, it looks great. I'm like, yeah, well, I don't believe you. Really, you just need to look in the mirror and get make sure you're happy with it. And then you can do the peripheral eye test and if it looks about even in your, in your in your peripheral vision, you're usually pretty good. Okay. So now we have it pretty much where we want it. Would you agree? Yes? Okay. Now you've got wax all over your fingers here. This is a problem because you can't apply the beard oil um, without clearing it off. So I usually take a little, little hand soap with some warm water and I just try to Get the, as much wax off my fingertips as I can. Dry your hands off your wife's towel here. She won't mind. Now it's time for the beard oil. Now just be careful, don't get it on your mustache. You don't wanna, cause that's just gonna make the, the wax kind of uh, get all slick and it's not gonna hold the shape anymore. So I usually do about three squirts. For, my, for the length of my beard. I just rub it like this, and then I start with the chin, and I go to the cheeks like that. Notice how I'm trying to avoid touching the stash, because I don't want to mess up the shape I just worked so hard for. And that gives it a nice color. It brings out the color in your beard, I think. I've got kind of a reddish beard, so a reddish gray. Yeah, and then that's, that's about it. Rinse off that oil on your wife's towel again. She won't notice, just don't tell her. And then I just like to kind of brush through my beard again, get the what, the uh, the oil, the beard oil nice and uh, mixed in. And there you go. And that is my routine. I usually do that about once a week. Once every probably three to four days, I'll apply the soft wax, like I said, to just kind of keep the shape as I like it. One other thing I will mention though is when I first started growing this mustache, I was having a big problem because I didn't know where to trim the beard and where the mustache would start. What I uh, learned the hard way after uh, about four months of frustration is I had grown my mustache too, too wide on my upper lip and the hair that was about right here, it was extremely curly and there was nothing I could do. To, to tame it, to make it look the, the right shape that I wanted. It was just going all sorts of weirdness. I ended up cutting that, bringing the mustache closer so it's not actually quite as wide as my entire mouth. That was where I started, and that's a good place to start for most people. But for me, it, it was actually a little bit narrower than my, my mouth. That's where like the, the perfect hairs were growing above my upper lip. So uh, that's why I kind of Trim it right, about right there, as you can see. So those are all of the tips that I have. If you would like any more tips, just feel free to message me and we can go over a plan that will uh, work for you. 
because I care about making you feel confident about your mustache. It's a passion of mine. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe because I don't know why. You don't have to. Just, just something people say. We now have a good stash with, with lots of uh, good roundness. One thing I will say to anybody who's thinking about growing a handlebar mustache, but is just not ready to take the, the final plunge, just go ahead and do it and push through a few months of awkwardness. The best thing to do is just grow a full on beard and let it grow out. And then when you're ready and when it's long enough, then you trim your beard back and you leave the stash or shave the whole beard completely. That way you don't go through the awkward stages of just growing the mustache where it's only this long and it just looks looks pretty ridiculous and you know people might make fun of you so and then you might get discouraged so start with a beard a long beard first and then transition into the the true manly way to grow facial hair which is a mustache thank you for your time and thank you for your service and viewership so into captivity.